Hi there. Now, in this video, I'm just going to be looking at this part, part B of the question. If you want the answers and methods of how to do the previous parts, do check out the earlier video. So, if you'd like to have a go at this question, haven't had a chance to totally read it, give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, we know that after 0.7 meters, as A ascends, particle C comes away from B. So, I just want to mark that on here, that we've got that, let's say this is the distance 0.7 meters. So, during this motion, we know that particle A started from rest, let's say we put an arrow there, started from rest, it accelerated, we found out that the acceleration was g over 7, so as it goes up through here it's accelerating, and uh, that acceleration is g over 7, if I can just squeeze that in there, and we're asked to find the speed of A when it reaches this height here. And to do this, what we've got is constant linear acceleration. So we should be able to use a SUVAT-based equation. So it's just a question of putting those values in. And when you're doing SUVAT-based equations, do associate a positive sense. And I'm going to associate positive as being upwards, okay, in the direction of motion here. So in that case, I've got S, the displacement, U, initial velocity, V, final velocity, A, the acceleration, and T, the time. And I know S, the displacement, as it goes from here to here, it's positive 0.7. So that's 0.7. U, the initial velocity, I know is 0, started from rest. V, we're trying to find. The acceleration we worked out was g over 7. And as for the time, well, we don't know the time, um, so we can leave it out. Okay, so We've got enough here to be able to form an equation. And that equation, connecting those variables that we have got here, is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And so, therefore, we've got v squared equals u squared. Well, that's going to be 0, so I'll just leave that out. And then it's 2 times the acceleration, which is g over 7, and times s, the displacement, 0 0.7. And if you work this out, you're just going to get g over 5. You might want to put this as a decimal, though. So uh, if we carry on down here, g over 5 is 1.96, so therefore you got v squared equals 1.96. So if you take the square root to both sides, v equals 1.4. Okay, 1.4 exactly, and that's meters per second. So I was giving you some idea then how to do that one.